Go! To spend or not to spend, the federal government is debating whether or not to print more money to cover the education debts of states. Of course, others in need include fire departments, with some resorting to rural enclosures to cover budget shortfalls and outright slashing the police forces by as much as 30% in some cities. Meanwhile, city employees get outrageous pay, like the city manager of Bell City, California, who made almost $800,000 per year prior to a citizen uprising. Going back to education, the recent firings of 241 teachers in the D.C. metro school system is being praised as a sign of reform. But with or without teacher firings, PTAs, and teacher unions, the U.S. is getting its butt kicked in education with only a 70% high school graduation rate, compared to the global leader, South Korea, with 96%. In New York, for example, the state spends over $17,000 per student, the most in the nation, and yet they only rank 34th in the country. With money obviously not the answer, has anyone taken the time to consider that the curriculum itself sucks? The youth of this country are inheriting a massive debt, so shouldn't they be provided with the skills to pay it off? Teaching business and economics education in public schools will show people how the economy works early on, so they're less likely to get screwed over by it in the future. The powers that be will try and stop this, and that's why it's important to establish an e-Congress to relocate U.S. Congress back to our local districts to securely telecommute to finally liberate the education curriculum once and for all. And this has been an e-Congress in under a minute.